Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mangas, and I welcome you to part 5 of Let's Play Civilization 5 A Brave New World playing as Wu Zetan of the Chinese Empire. Let us continue our journey. So, we're currently uh, making preparations to attack um, Mr. Pocatello. I'll get my National College in three turns. As well as the tech required for Chukonu. They'll cost 180 hammers, which is quite a lot considering I have how much in my city? I have 21 hammers in my city, which is not fantastic. I do have some forests that I can chop down. In fact, I think I'm actually gonna go for a mine on this uh, tile right here. Normally, I, I definitely get a farm, but I think I, I need the production. So, I'll go for that. I'll, um, it would be nice to get some flood gold, actually. I would, uh, I would like to sell some of my resources to the other leaders. I have two declarations of friendship right now. Hopefully I can get some more. I got a lot of city-states allies, which is quite nice. And my cities are moving on quite nicely. I, I have to say that I've gotten some doubts whether I should be taking this city up here or whether I should be taking this one. I do want the Canal City. It's an extremely good city. Right now I don't really have the production to build settlers. In fact, I think it may be time for me to start trading with city-states. Well, I think I'll... I probably won't go to war for 30 turns. I'll, I'll need some more uh, Chukonus. But I'm gonna start sending my caravans away soon. Alright, I can probably send these warriors up here. That way they'll get their... Um, yeah, definitely want a mine here. That's 10 turns. There's nothing else that I want at the moment. Nope, it's gonna have to be a mine. But yeah. Um, I'll need a lot of Chukonu. 180 hammers is quite expensive. I might be able to buy a few. No, no, he no, wants no. open borders. No, I don't really want open borders. I wonder where the settler is heading. I really do. I don't want it to... I'm gonna try to block it as best as I can, actually. I also need some more iron. I'm actually considering sending this worker back here to connect this iron. Because uh, I have a lot of swordsmen, which needs upgrading. I do have a light, nice melee army, but I don't have a single true Konu yet, which is a little bit annoying. Alright, um, I don't think I can... No, I have to wait one turn until I can get myself a Chukonu. I might do something worthwhile with that one turn of production. I could get myself a workboat, or I could start working on a market, maybe. I think I'm going to start working on a market. Then I'm going to turn my production over to Chukonu. Production. La, 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 la. The settler, I don't think Pocatello even knows what to do with it, but look at this shit. Look at this shit. They have like a border with each other now. I'm I might be able to convince Budika to attack him, which would be great for me. Alexander likes that I denounce the Mongols. That's good to know. I'd love to get ironworks in Beijing, but I simply do not have the time for that. We're gonna have to start sh massing up our Chukonus very, very soon. We need to get a lot more production in Beijing. I am probably gonna... Maybe I'll even build a lumber camp. I don't know. Maybe I'll buy this tile and get a mine on that. There we go. Alright, so machinery is finally done. I think optics probably would be a good upgrade to get. And let's switch over to Chukonus. How quickly can we make them? Ten turns. And that is full production. Yep. We're even working the mine. Gonna get the mine done in eight turns. Which is not that bad, actually. I'm expecting Pocatello to settle here, actually. Um, I could try to block his settler. Okay, there we go. So he settled the city of Tukta, Tukeda. Um, that, that city will fall rather quickly. So that's nice. Yeah, that city will not last long at all. Manila will probably crush it for me. Valletta might actually slip out of my control in 22 turns. So the question is, how many Chukunu do I actually need? I'd like a lot. Alright. I should probably go for horseback riding. 
So I won't steal that tech when my spy eventually. Let's see how has the spy going. I'm actually going to steal a tech in five turns. That could potentially be really great. Um, if I could steal a really expensive one, like printing press, that'd be amazing. It would be nice to steal one towards education. If I could steal civil service, that'd be fantastic. Education would be even better. I do need a university, so I think I should work work my way towards universities, actually. So how expensive are the Chukunu? 620 gold. That is quite expensive, actually. That is really expensive. Alright, my warriors can now embark. I'm gonna send them across. I'm gonna upgrade them. It's gonna cost roughly 100 gold to upgrade them. Getting long swordsmen would be nice as well, actually. Yeah, the city will be no issue at all. I'm simply going to kill it very quickly. That's uh trebuchets and swordsman, interesting. Is he really planning to attack me? I think that would be a very stupid move. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to bleed him dry a little bit when I do eventually attack him. I can't wait for too long. I think I'm gonna save up some money for a uh, for another Chukonu. I need at least like three or four to start the war. Alright, this warrior can now embark, so let's send it over to Beijing. We can probably send the warriors back, truth be told, like so. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, so we're gonna get the honor opener now. I gotta say, there's a lot of other choices I'd really like to get, but no, it's gonna have to be honor, because I want the warrior code. The, ec the free great general is going to be very good, I, I and also... It's gonna help me right away because they they be, they get earned 50% faster. So this war will net me a great general pretty darn quickly, which is gonna be great. So I wonder if I'll need some siege. I probably won't need siege equipment to be quite honest. I think the Chukunus alone can probably take down this city. All right, uh, warriors can fortify. We'll get our mine in three turns, which will certainly help. I'm actually considering... Okay, I'm already... I am already have a citizen inside the workshop. I'm gonna get a great engineer in approximately 30 turns. Might be able to snap myself a wonder with that. That'd be nice. Alright, so let's see. Uh, do we have any resources to sell? We do not. Ramkahang has declared war on Jengish Khan. Well, go figure. Ooh. These, th those elephants are quite nasty. If I remember correctly, they're knights with increased combat strength. That is actually quite, uh... It looks like Jengish Khan is in for some trouble. Alright, here's our honor opener. Won't really do much for us. I don't think there's a single barbarian encampment nearby. Incan Great Prophet, so we'll get the Inca religion. Let's check that out again, shall we? Um, that's Confucianism, Faith from Quarries, to Production of City as a Specialist, that's good, and plus one production, that's actually gonna help me a lot. Hmm. No, I don't want to declare war on Ramkahang, but that's actually good. No, wait, come on, spread your, spread your, okay, fucking hell, Pocatello. Seriously, the way he expands is just ridiculous. I'm gonna have a lot of cleanup to do. A lot of cleanup. All right. I can finally steal a tech, that's great. So I can steal physics, and I think that's probably a good idea. I mean, I could of course steal... Steal? Lol. Um, getting a trebuchet would actually be nice, but I think long swordsman would be better. So that's good. Let's hope he didn't... Let's hope he don't... Uh, he... Um, Let's hope he won't recognize that. Uh, let's see. He wants to sell sugar. I am not interested in that. I want flood gold for that. I think I should upgrade my warriors to long swordsmen and not the other way around because the legions are pretty strong. So I'll keep them. Then I'll upgrade my warriors to long swordsmen. Then they'll have 21 strength. That'll actually be pretty cool. But I need Chukonus. Uh, I don't have a declaration of friendship with Alexander. Oh, yeah, there we go. Someone kicked me out of Manila. Probably Alexander. Alright, so he has 170 gold. Uh, I'm actually gonna wait until my turn to see. Okay, Alexander now has 33 influence. Hmm, that is very, very, very annoying. Actually. Very annoying. 
All right, we'll have a chat with Morocco. Damn they have it. some gold, but they don't want my sugar. I could wait for Ramkahang to actually get some more gold, but I think I'm happy with 195 flood gold as well as some gold per turn. Ah, that's good enough for me. That's a lot of money. Now I just need this iron connected. All right, so Shanghai. What do we want in Shanghai? I, I it would be nice to get some more. Um, like Shanghai has decent production actually, so we could definitely go for a forge. Yeah, actually, I think Forge would be really nice. We could get both sources of iron. That would be two extra hammers for the city. And we could start union production in Shanghai as well. Hell, we could even build a road up here. But we could go by sea for the time being, I think. But yeah, definitely getting a Forge in Shanghai would be good, because we have two iron tiles here. And this city could actually support some decent unit production once it uh, grows a little bit. Yeah, Alexander wants to buy the other uh, sugar... Um, I think I'll save it for someone who can give me a little bit more, or, you know, someone I can benefit a little bit more from being allied with. It really sucks that Alexander took the city away from me. That is actually super annoying. I can't even buy him out of it. Not that I have the money for it anyway. That actually sucks, because I... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Yeah, I can't let that pass. Alright, I need ivory, actually. I need ivory. So, let's see who has ivory. Morocco has ivory. I'm gonna have to buy it. It's expensive. But I need to kick Pocatello out of the city-state. And 9 gold per turn is... It's a decent price to pay for a lot, actually. Okay. Uh, so, what do we want to go for in Beijing? Hmm... There's a lot of things I want in Beijing. I don't want to cut the jungle tiles, actually. I could buy the hill, but that's 100 gold. I don't want to pay that. I guess a farm? Yeah, I guess it's gonna have to be a farm. Are we still not done with the iron mine? Four more turns. Yeah, so Valera, I'm gonna get a lot of influence with Valera right now. Don't really feel like getting open borders. Okay, so now Pocatello has Long Swordsman. I'll get Long Swordsman too, very soon. How are we doing on tax anyway? He is 10% ahead of me, 41% already. Um, I am still dead last on t science, but hey, it's DD. It's expected. You you need to go rationalism on DD, so I don't think I'll get a chance. I'd, I'd love to get military tradition, but at some point I'm just gonna have to go to rationalism. Because if you don't do that on DD, you're not gonna win the game. <laughs> Alright, so now. Someone's going to kick me out in 13 turns, I think, because of the culture quests. I would love to get Manila as my allies. If only they'd give me a quest of some kind. That would be... S like, fuck you, Alexander. Seriously. You're such a fucking douche. So now I can either try to promote my swordsman, which I think would be a much better investment... Hell, getting these legionnaires up to steel or long swordsmen would be really useful for me. Or I could buy myself a Chukonu. Shanghai can fire upon an enemy again. Why didn't the Chukonu get a promotion? I have a barracks here. I don't! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's really bad. Like, that's super bad. <laughs> I need a barracks here. That's like, you can't build military units without a barracks. That was... Why on earth didn't I do that? Alright, so I'm gonna have Chukonus without promotions now. That actually sucks. Getting that shock is actually insanely useful. I didn't actually see which, who she wanted to declare war on the right there. But I'm going to bribe both the Incans and the Celts into uh, declaring war with me. That is actually going to become very important if I want to win this war. Alright, we're going to get our mine now. That's good. We're going to complete our barracks. Get the mine. Then we can upgrade. What, how, how expensive this is? Not that expensive, actually. I'm just going to do it immediately. Might as well. And as far as the scout goes, I guess it can hold on to this city. I have enough vision, I think. 
I'm pretty sure. I guess I could bring it along, but it doesn't have any vision improvements, though. But yeah, I have some long swordsmen now, which is good. We can upgrade these guys as well. It's gonna cost me some gold, but it'll be worth it. If only I could get a quest of some kind. A trade mission would be nice. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, Pocatello. Another settler? Alright, what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna place my scout here, because then the settler at least can't come any closer. I don't have any funds to upgrade that shit. Alright, so both of the iron mines are done. That's great. Um, I think I want to go over here and get the horses now. Alright, so make a proposal. This is going to be World's Fair. Because it's going to boost my diplomatic relationship with all of these guys. It's too good not... Like, you, you never want to suggest anything else than World's Fair. Simply because World's Fair is too good. It's way too good. You know. Um... I should also actually have promoted my normal swordsman instead of my legionnaires. That was a little bit stupid of me. But it's okay. I wanted to promote them anyway. Uh, I actually have four leftover iron that I can sell if I really wanted to. That might actually be worth it. I don't think I want any more swordsmen, so let's actually do that. Let's talk to Rumcom Rum Trollface, see if... Uh, Indeed, He's Donald. interested. He is interested in iron. So how much will he pay me for it? Yeah, that's a good price. That's gonna net me another promotion. Uh, yeah, right. I what? Oh. <laughs> oh, mangs! You fucking imbecile! I forgot I had a warrior that needed. Oh well, it's not like I had the money for it anyway. Right? Alright, so, at least three Trukonu is required, I think. We could start attacking Tukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukutukut
There goes the great engineer. If I declare war on him right now, this pikeman will kill the engineer. The question is, is it worth it? I think it is. Hmm. I don't know. It's risky. It's very risky. You know what? No, he's gonna get his turn first, actually. Hmm. Hmm, is this... I'm gonna check if Pocatello has any city-state allies. He doesn't, thankfully. I could actually send food to Gangsho. That would actually be kind of cool. Three gold per turn is not particularly good, I gotta say. Hmm. I could send production. Actually, that'd be kind of nice. Let's just sped up the workshop by, like, ten turns. Alright, so let's see. If I declare war on Pocatello right now... I am going to be losing three trade routes. No, wait, that's his trade routes, not mine. Well, to be quite honest, I don't... Did I really trade wine from Pocatello? Huh. Really? Beijing to Mosankani. Well, yeah, I'm going to lose one trade route. I'm going to check how long until that trade route expires, exactly. Uh, uh, let's see. Three more turns. I can wait three more turns. That is... Yeah, definitely. I can wait three more turns. That's worth, that's worth a caravan, in my opinion. I'd love to kill this great engineer, but I need to make sure I don't... <coughs> no, no, I need to not barge into a war I can't win. There's that great engineer again, though. Oh, catalysm. Catholicism. Let's see what kind of religion is that. It's the cross. So I can buy faith to purchase... Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh yes, please give me this. Missionary conversion strength. Plus two happiness. Oh my god. Yes, I can buy... I can faith buy. Chukunus. <gasps> well, that's a godsend. And I got another fucking legion. Jesus Christ. How many le okay, so that's amazing. Look at this. I can faith buy Chukunus. Now that's what you'd call a fucking... I don't really know what you'd call it. You'd call it something fucking great. That just gave me two free Chuko news. I knew I could use this faith for something useful eventually. All right, as no, no, soon no, no, as my caravan with uh, or car trade uh, caravan expires, I am going to declare war on him. Yeah, he has rifle or musketman. That's to be expected. However, musketman has like a strength of 26, I think. That's not so bad. Let's check. Musketman. Musketman have a strength of 24, which is actually only 3 more than the Longswordsman. So, it's the Riflemen on their strength of 33, which really makes a huge difference. Why do I not get promotions? I did. Okay, no, never mind. I'm just stupid. Well, this is fucking great. Okay, now my gold output is not looking very good. Alright, so... Uh, let's see. Can I make any safe trade routes? I can trade with Manila. That's going to get pl plundered. Um, I could trade with Ur. Yeah, that works. Send it to Gangsho and trade with Ur. And I think we definitely need to start working on a market. That's actually going to be quite important. Um... Could perhaps build a trading post in the jungle? Yeah, I think I'll build a trading post in the jungle. That takes a lot of time, but it's worth it. Alright, I'm gonna actually gonna build a market in Shanghai. And we're gonna steal... Oh, 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 we could steal education. How about compass? Ooh. Ooh, that's, that's really tempting, actually. Mm, still chivalry. Now we're gonna steal. I'm not sure how many turns I've spent researching education, but it's worth it just to steal it. And then I'm gonna go for compass, maybe? I could go for chivalry as well, or physics probably would be nice as well. Getting some knights out. What is our next goal after this? Maybe get banks? I think getting banks would actually be really useful. 
But yeah, I think I think we can declare war now, to be quite honest. I mean, we won't get the engineer, sadly, but hey. Before I declare war, I am going to be placing my Trukonus in more favorable locations. Uh, like so. Because he's definitely going to attack me. I'm going to fortify up here. Yeah, this will be great. I'll, I'll, I, I'm even gonna steal a, um, I'm even gonna steal a freaking worker from him, possibly. This is gonna be a fun war. I'm gonna ask if uh, anyone else wants to declare war th with me. Of course. I hope he won't move this worker because I want it. I could still steal it. Actually, oh my god, Valletta will kill the engineer. Great. Ugh, I feel sorry for Valad, actually. They're gonna get pounded hard. They only got two pikemen and archer. They do have a galleas, which is quite nice. But, and two pikemen. But yeah, they're gonna get pounded pretty fucking hard. Alright. Trade with Ur. Two gold per turn. Well, well, it's better than no gold per turn. Alright, hey, Budika. Shall we declare war against... Gudalo! No, we haven't been over this before. She won't do it. Incas? Uh, he won't do it. Shall we declare war against Pocatello? I must decline. Uh, there's no one else who can really help me in this war. Well, YOLO! Good does. So that's going to take away two of his trade routes, which is great. Alright, it's happening. It is happening. Wait, seriously? Sydney? Where's Sydney? Alright, well, the war has started. It's going to be fun. I am uh, looking forward to seeing if I can uh, dismount the beast. That is Pocatello. Alright, please consider leaving a like and a comment if you enjoyed this part, ladies and gentlemen. It really helps out a lot. And join us next time as the war against the Shoshone begins. My name is Sun Mangs, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.